Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Hill, Superintendent of the West Bloomfield School District. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our school district, characterized by expert teachers, fantastic students, and a highly supportive community in which our students thrive. One of the characteristics that I'm most proud of is our rich diversity. Our student body is richly diverse culturally, religiously, and economically, and they have a rich array of choices to choose from as they plan their path through our school district. From our STEAM program, to our athletic program, to our fine arts program, and just the overall citizenship and leadership programs that we have available for each of our students. It makes me proud to be the superintendent of such an amazing school district. The level of engagement on um, both the teachers and students has been incredible. It has really afforded an opportunity for our students to get hands-on experience, not just in the classroom, but for example, at the elementary level, our students partner with a business or a community leader. As Roosevelt and the district began to shift towards STEAM, we began to realize that project-based learning and STEAM kind of go hand in hand. It's a very good vehicle. What I found my students have gotten better on in the last couple of years since we've transitioned is the teamwork, the perseverance. Um, we had Fiat Chrysler come in and work with our kids on designing and modeling and making little toy clay cars. They were here for an entire day. They brought a mini auto show and parked it out in front of the school. We've recently partnered Magnet Program with Lyft out of Detroit, um, High Tech Research Center, um, and so they're coming in to work with the Magnet students and the students were having such phenomenal experiences with the STEAM program at middle school level. Four C's in terms of 21st century learning refers to communication, collaboration, um, critical thinking, and creativity. I work closely with the STEAM ELA teacher in both teachers in both 6th and 8th grade and we have designed a lot of our projects together so that the kids are um, using content that they're learning in science and applying it to something that they might be reading in their ELA class. No matter what your career aspiration is, West Bloomfield High School has what you need. And we have the dedicated staff to make sure they implement the proper curriculum and sequence so you can have that opportunity to be successful. Getting experiences with people who are actually in the field and understanding trying to make a connection between what you're learning in school and how important it is in some cases and what you're actually going to do in real life, is it's, in, it's invaluable. As the students complete the STEAM program at the high school level, they have the opportunity for an internship or a capstone project experience. Regularly, once a week for a couple hours, I shadow a pediatrician and as I am interested in pediatrics, I this has only solidified my passion to become a doctor even more and it's showed me what a pediatrician does every day. You get to see how they diagnose a patient, how they interact with a patient, things you can't learn in the classroom. So I come in and they go, oh, so what year of medical school are you in? And it's like, no, I'm a senior in high school. And they're like, I've never heard of this before. I've never seen anyone in a hospital that isn't even in undergraduate school. Yeah, it is unique and I don't think many other schools offer this magnificent program. We are very eager to involve students in every aspect of what it is required to generate your own clean energy. Every classroom in our science department will be powered by clean, renewable energy by the sun, even here in Michigan. So many opportunities for students to do real life, 21st century skills. Yeah, I started Coding Club as a freshman when I um, came into the high school and we have 15 to 20 members, we're part of an international organization called Hat Club, which is like a nation, um, an international uh, group of coding clubs put together and we work on various projects. So technology is integrated into learning experiences in all of our classrooms throughout the district. And certainly when you talk about a STEAM program, that's enhanced with providing um, experiences for students with robots that many of our students have the opportunity to work with. We have 3D printers in many of our classrooms and in our eye centers. So making sure students have experiences with, kind, with equipment that you may not see in typical traditional classrooms. I envision myself working on technology that's bettering humanity. So my hope is to work in renewable energy, take our planet off the grid, um, and I hope to one day travel through space and work on the colonization of Mars. 
I want to be a biomedical engineer and I got the opportunity to build a 3D printed prosthetic hand which is what I want to do. Right now we're working on a project that we're going to be able to put in the hallways that's an energy collector. So as students walk through the halls they're going to be able to step on it and we're going to be able to collect that energy and use it to power some of the school. I'm currently enrolled in architecture too. Um, right now we're working on a project for the literary garden. With engineering and just architecture in general you get to take your creative skills and mathematics and put it together to make something great. You know, you're making structures, but you can design them however you want them to look. You just have to know how to do the math. Right now, we're, we're working on uh, building a shed, which is made out of reclaimed wood that was uh, donated to us from like burned down houses and that, that we, that's just repurposed. And so it is important sometimes to, to bring in um, our, some design elements that maybe we're not really aware of. So those interactions we get between departments is, is very important and, and, it, and it keeps you out of the silo. The fine arts program here at West Bloomfield, we offer a ton of different opportunities from ceramics to drawing to photography, metal smithing. In the STEAM program um, in the fine arts, all seniors get to culminate their experience with what's called a capstone. It integrates not only maybe music or visual arts or film, some of our students, many of our students are in all of the fine arts. And so they can take all of their knowledge and experience and ask their own question and then utilize the film, the visual arts, and the music to have a final project. AP Music Theory is a class that um, is teaching the fundamentals of music, kind of like the math of music. It's based on about a hundred years. Cadences, which would be like a period or a question mark at the end of a sentence, or major or minor modes, or being able to arrange a chord so that it sounds good. And so most people out there in technology, Ford, GM, they say, we want a commercial that makes people feel happy. They don't know what music makes people happy, but there's actually theory behind it. Being able to think kind of outside the box and to problem solve. Uh, and really the interesting thing about the arts is that there isn't one answer for everything. Math is an integral part of not only our business program, but all the programs here. Um, as far as the business program, it comes into play when they're playing, working the school store, dealing with money. Uh, and when they're here, it works with that. When they go out into the real world, everything comes down to a profit. You have to know your numbers. They're going to be asked that on a daily basis. Where, where's your profit? What kind of percentage are we at? Where, uh, where are our losses? Where can we increase? One of the things that I really love about DECA is the fact that they take into consideration how rapid technology is advancing. More importantly, they're focusing on all the jobs that technology is creating and they're preparing students for the workforce that has yet to be created. Uh, DECA was a uh, Distributive Education Clubs of America, but since then they've changed it and it's now a worldwide uh, organization. So now they just call it an Association of Marketing Students. I compete in the Virtual Business Challenge at DECA and uh, what that is is where I use mathematics and technology to manipulate a simulation with a business so I can get the best possible outcome of profit and business standards for that. First of all, we offer 31 varsity sports here at the high school. So any type of sport that someone has an interest in, we like to get them involved. We want them to participate. We want them to have that high school experience where they can go around and wear their varsity letter and say that they truly were a part of West Bloom for the athletics. And last year, we added four sports. We added snowboarding. Uh, we added sailing, figure skating, constantly looking to grow. We're constantly looking to add and, and, and catch those interests that the students have. Phenomenal cheer team, uh, you know, they're coming off competing in the regionals. Uh, Coach Hoban, done, she's done a fantastic job with that program, freshman, uh, sophomore, junior, senior girls. So, you know, it doesn't matter what age you are. If you're talented enough to be a part of that team, you'll be selected on that team. From an athletic standpoint, you know, I, I think what it does is it builds confidence with the kids. I think it keeps you in shape. You know, um, whether you're a great athlete or not, it's something to do. We have a lot of sports where it's just a no-cut sport, where you could compete, you know, track and field is an example. It's our largest sport. Typically, we have anywhere from 150 to 200 kids competing in our track and field program. Our pep rallies are a lot of fun. Uh, our student leadership program here at the high school does a wonderful job of planning the pep assemblies. Um, they get the students involved, they get the faculty involved, as we truly focus on the student athlete. You look at our programs and, and the combined grade point averages for all our programs, are they can compete with any school around. Our athletic events are actually events for students to come to.
to on the weekends. They're the things you don't want to miss, and it's great to see how the athletics support the culture here at the high school. I know what we've done here since Mr. Pierce has taken over the athletic program is we've been able to raise the GPA of all our programs. We have numerous students that earn academic All-State. We have numerous varsity teams that are team academic All-State. STEAM has been a great addition to West Bloomfield High School. That's why you see so many additional community school districts trying to implement the program we've already done. We want students to have the opportunity to find what their passion is. So whether it's the science or the math or the arts, the engineering, you need as a young person to have as many opportunities as possible to find your passion.